I would like to come back to an earlier point, if Please. I may, too, and that is the notion that atheists are somehow the intelligentsia among us and so forth. I think this is just completely false. The spate of new books published by the new atheists like Harris and Hitchens and Dawkins and so forth are not sophisticated books intellectually. These are, for the most part, angry, uh, bitter diatribes against religion. And while someone like Dawkins may be a good scientist in his field, when he begins to talk about philosophy and theology, he is merely a layman. And The God Delusion is a very unsophisticated book intellectually. As a philosopher, I, I was just appalled at the arguments he gives in that book. Uh, it is an embarrassment, really, I think. Well, I, I can agree, and I, I, I suspect uh, Michael may, may as well. I think he would, too. It in the, if you look at the reviews, uh, this man is is respected in his field. Yes. But this book, if you look at the reviews, they're, they're quite damning. I used to work with Chris Hitchens. He's a bright guy. He's a fun guy. This is not a, a profound book. It, it's a fun book in many ways. So mm. I think most people would agree that the three you mentioned in particular, Dawkins, Harris, and Hitchens, what they've written is not first-class scholarship. However, there are first-class scholars and genuine intellectuals who do certainly. not believe at, at all in Certainly. God. Certainly there are, Michael. But... There has also been, especially over the last 50 years, since the late 1960s, a, a literal revolution in my discipline, philosophy, uh, in the Anglo-American world, which has brought about a renaissance of Christian philosophy, such that some of our finest philosophers at our most prestigious universities are now outspoken Bible-believing okay. Christians. Sir? I'm sorry. Where is this uh, philosophical revolution taking place? I'm in the Anglo-American realm. Um, the ones dominated by uh, assume, assumed atheists like people like Iyer, um, people like Bertrand Russell, uh, who really dominated. Like, well, the, I'm sorry, I just never have what heard was the first this. Thing you said? I think you meant Ayer. Oh, from Ayer. Yeah. Ayer. But, Ayer. but that's, yeah. the, that's a bygone generation, Michael. I'm talking about or today. About, okay, let's talk about people from today, like Quine. Right? He's Who's, dead too. Well, he died only a couple of years, like so did Freddie years Ebb, ago. But I mean, but I mean well, let, no, let's well, talk AJ, about, let's so name names, people like Richard Swinburne uh, at Oxford University, uh, Robert and Marilyn Adams at Oxford, Brian Leftow at Oxford, uh, people like Alvin Planning at University of Notre Dame, Peter Van Inwagen, uh, Dallas Willard, Eleanor Stump. I mean, I could go on and on naming names at top universities in America and England who are outspoken Christians, such that the face of my discipline compared to the 1930s and 40s when Russell and Ayer were dominant has been utterly transformed.